All right, so the Eagles' first preseason game has came and went, and it seems like they may have a new offensive starter, as the battle at the right guard position seems like there's a chance it might be all but decided at this point. Meanwhile, the first-round rookie Quinion Mitchell shined as he almost made an incredible play on his first defensive drive, while Jeremiah Trotter Jr., Nolan Smith, and multiple other players were fantastic. Plus, the Eagles' offense clearly looks different, and these changes could be scary for the NFL, all while we just had the craziest possible end to a preseason game we could have had. So let's talk about all that and everything else from the preseason opener, and we won't waste any time let's get straight into it so the philadelphia eagles gave fans a reason to be excited about the preseason opener against the ravens as hours before the game reporter jeff mclean tweeted out quote eagles plan is to play their starters for a series in tonight's preseason opener at the ravens team sources said could be more depending upon how the series goes so i don't know about you guys but that just got me even more fired up to watch this game unfortunately though it seemed the eagles changed their minds right before the game began as after pre-game warm-ups the birds decided to actually not play the offensive starters including guys like jalen hurts and Saquon Barkley and Nick Sirianni actually spoke about this decision after the game uh yeah just uh the chance of the weather the weather how it was all day it feels a little wet when we got out there uh, just wanted to have a clean you know you know clean operation um didn't want to put them on something that I felt like with any of the weather could been could have been a little messy I didn't want to give them uh I want to give them a clean track so so based on Sirianni's language there, it sounds like we could probably expect to see the offensive starters in one of the next two preseason games for a series or two, but last night just wasn't that night. So instead of Hurts, it was Kenny Pickett who started the game at quarterback for the Eagles, even after some speculation that Tanner McKee might have been making a push for the QB2 job, and Pickett looked alright to start out, as he had some nice completions to a couple different receivers, including the tight end Grant Calcaterra, who was clearly the tight end too at this point. He also found John Ross, who caught a few passes, and Britton Covey, who I actually think played really well, both as a receiver receiver as he caught all four of his targets and put some of his elusiveness on display, but also as a returner as he made a bunch of guys miss on one particular punt return in the second half. So we all know Covey is a good returner, but I think he definitely helped his stock last night with what he was able to show as a receiver as well. And I also think the rookie Johnny Wilson did the same, as even though he only had one catch for seven yards, he was awesome as a blocker on the outside, so that definitely could be something for the Eagles to utilize this year. And you also can see the talent is there to just be a solid receiver, so it'll be interesting to keep an eye on him as the preseason goes on, but getting back to Pickett though, his best moment was when he led a long 15-play 75-yard drive that nearly chewed up nine minutes in the first quarter, as both him and rookie running back Will Shipley looked great on the drive, as Shipley chewed up a lot of yardage on the ground as well, and to cap off the drive, Pickett connected with Shipley on a rollout for the seven-yard receiving touchdown. So overall, it was a pretty solid debut for Shipley, and an okay one in my opinion for Kenny Pickett, who finished 14 for 22 with 84 yards and a touchdown, but I think he definitely played better than those numbers look. But while guys like like Pickett and Shipley and Wilson all played well on offense, the most intriguing position to watch was easily right guard, as this is the one offensive position where there is a battle going on that there will be a clear winner and loser at, and the battle is of course between the second year man Tyler Steen and the new addition Mekhi Becton. And early on, it seemed like Steen was the clear favorite, as he was getting all the first team reps during the spring and early in training camp, but things seemed to shift after Steen suffered an ankle injury as Becton took over the right guard spot and hasn't given it back, even though Steen has returned at this point, and that continued in this first preseason game as Becton started at right guard while Steen was at the left guard spot, and then what I think is even more telling is that Becton came out after just one series and Steen then moved over to the right guard position where he played for the entire first half, so you at least have to think that Becton starting at right guard and only playing in one offensive series is indicative that he's clearly ahead of Steen right now, and it seems like the right guard spot is currently his to lose. Now, Nick Sirianni was asked about both Becton and Steen after the game, and this is what he had to say about him. I thought, like, you know, he hasn't played right guard before. Um, in the practice he has, but in a live a live game, he hasn't played played right guard, and I thought that was important that he got to go out there and play, you know, and, and when the live bullet's going. And I thought he did some nice things. Um, you know, and we felt like at that time, you know, he came out after that. Uh, because we felt like that's what we wanted to get him in there, get his feet wet with, at that position, and we'll see if we play him next week uh, at, at that spot um, to start the game. Why did you want to see Tyler for, for the entire first half? Did you feel like you needed to see Tyler's missed some time. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler's missed some time, and uh, you know we we decide everybody's on a different pitch count, or, you know, with where that where they are, and uh, you know I'll have to look at the tape, but it seemed like we ran the ball well when Tyler was in, and we we protected well when Tyler was in. So I'm excited to watch, you know watch his game film um but yeah he just he got a little bit more reps uh, just the, just the way that reps how, how do you 
So if you're going to take what he said at face value, then I guess that would mean that Becton isn't necessarily winning the battle. And everything Sirianni said kind of did make sense, but I just can't believe that Becton isn't the favorite after he only played one series and started over Steen, while Steen also played in the entire first half. I mean, that's a clear sign right there that Becton is winning this battle, but what do you guys think? Do you feel like right guard is currently Becton's position to lose? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Now, sticking with the offense, the other quarterback to play in this game was Tanner McKee, and his numbers didn't really look too good, but to be fair, I do think he was better than what it looks like because he had multiple passes hit receivers in the hands and they just dropped it, and really, I mean, his receivers just didn't give him much help at all when he was in the game, and he also did help lead the Eagles on some nice drives, including one that spanned 17 plays and went 74 yards and ended up in a Lou Nichols touchdown run to give the Eagles a 13-6 lead in the third quarter and during the course of this drive or really any other offensive drive throughout the game it was just interesting to see the clear differences between last year's offense and this year's as the offensive changes were apparent whether it be lining up under center more more pre-snap motion more answers against the blitz more routes across the middle of the field and a lot more rollout and bootleg type of actions it was apparent how different the offense is just compared to 2023 thanks to kellen moore and tanner mckee actually spoke about the new look offense after the game and he had some exciting things to say about it the new offense i think is awesome um i feel like our guys did a good job with the details inside and out especially for our first preseason game what, what makes the new offense so awesome in your mind <clears throat> um to start i think it's really quarterback friendly um i, I think it, it allows our guys to show um their potential um i think it takes advantage of advantages of, of one-on-ones but also if they're in a zone i think there's really good spacing concepts that i think we have um and i just think it is very very well balanced um, and I think you can see that tonight when we wanted to run the ball, we ran the ball a bunch, and then when we wanted to pass, the, the pass was there. Yeah, I'm definitely even more fired up about this new offense after seeing it and also hearing what McKee just said about it, as that was some pretty high praise for the new system there, and I love the comments about it, one, being balanced, because I think for anyone concerned about Kellen Moore not running the ball enough, probably shouldn't be after hearing that, and also considering the Eagles do have Saquon Barkley, but I also love the comment about it being quarterback friendly, because that just means Jalen Hurts is going to be put in positions to succeed, and over Overall, I just cannot wait to watch the starting offense in this new system because I think they're going to dominate, but what do you guys think? Now, in addition to all this stuff with the offense, there was also a few defensive players that really stood out, starting with their first-round rookie, Quinya Mitchell, as he almost had an insane play on his first defensive drive, so don't worry, we're going to get into that and so much more in just a minute here, but real quick, I do want to say, if you are enjoying this video and don't want to miss any other Eagles preseason training camp or regular season coverage coming in the future, then make sure you subscribe and also really, really importantly, turn on notifications so you're notified instantly when one of these videos is uploaded. I think that's a win-win for the both of us because not only do I get more people watching these videos consistently, but you don't miss any other Eagles content just like this. So again, subscribe and turn on notifications and also drop a like down below. Let's see if we can hit 800 likes on this video. Now, with all that being said, let's get back into the video. So as I was saying, the Eagles had a bunch of players on the defensive side of the ball play well during their preseason game versus the Ravens. As compared to the offense, the Birds actually decided to play most of their starters on the defensive side of the ball. And perhaps the most exciting play we saw from a defensive player was from their rookie Quinion Mitchell. As on the Ravens' first drive, they were stuck in a 3rd and 10 situation, so quarterback Josh Johnson threw a pass to wide receiver Malik Cunningham, and Mitchell jumped the pass and almost picked it off. I mean, he definitely should have picked it off because it hit him right in the hands, but still, it was a very nice read and a good play for Mitchell, who was lined up in the slot on that play as he had been for most of the game. So again, it seems like he definitely has a very real chance to start there, and this play kind of reminded me of the play Jalen Carter had last year on his first snap against the Ravens where he nearly had a sack. Now, obviously, Carter went on to have a very good season, so hopefully Quinion can do the same this year, as this near interception was certainly a very promising start. But Mitchell wasn't the only defensive player to have an impressive showing, with cornerback Keely Ringo being locked down all night, as it seemed like just every time he was thrown at, he had great coverage or he was getting a pass breakup, so it was certainly a great day for him, and it could have definitely helped his chances in that cornerback battle with Isaiah Rogers. Then you have Nolan Smith, who had a sack at one point, which was just awesome to see, and his energy and motor were on full display all night, as the guy just plays with relentless effort, so that was definitely awesome, and his stock is definitely up after this game. And then you got the rookie Jeremiah Trotter Jr., who was flying all over over the field as he led the team in tackles with six on the night and he also had a sack on a third down to stop the Ravens on a drive earlier in the game so overall it was a really nice night for Trotter and he continues to make waves at that linebacker position 
and I'm telling you, man, I'm starting to believe more and more in this guy, and I think the second he gets an opportunity to play, he's going to show out. And that's exactly what edge rusher Patrick Johnson decided to do on the last defensive play of the game for the Birds, as this game had about the wildest ending you could have possibly had in a preseason game, and Johnson was a huge reason for that. As right at the end of the game, the score was tied at 13, and Jake Elliott had a chance to end it with a 50-yard field goal, but uncharacteristically, he missed it off the right upright, giving the ball back to the Ravens with about 20 seconds left, but this is where Patrick Johnson decided to play the hero, as on the Ravens' first play, Johnson got to QB Emory Jones quickly and forced the fumble, and then he also actually ended up recovering it, giving Jake Elliott one more chance to win the game. And this next kick from Elliott was straight down the middle, giving the Eagles a 16-13 win in the preseason opener. So overall, what a way to kick off the preseason season for the Eagles, and how about all those exciting performances and little details that were revealed with this game? But we're obviously just getting started as the Birds have two more preseason games, a joint practice with the Patriots this week, and a ton more practices before the start of the regular season, and I'm going to be covering all of it, so if you don't want to miss any of that, make sure you subscribe, and also again, really, really importantly, turn on notifications so you're notified instantly when one of these videos is uploaded, and also, while you're at it, make sure you drop a like to show some support. I'd greatly appreciate it, and it really does help me out a ton, and also just leave a comment regarding anything that I talked about in this this video, what were your initial reactions from the Eagles preseason opener against the Ravens? And also, if you want to watch another Eagles video recapping their last practice ahead of the preseason opener, you can check this out right here. And now with all that being said, that's pretty much all I got for this one, guys. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.